Let me ask you this. Who is your least favorite wrestler of all time after you got to know him? I don't know, bro. That would take some time. That would take some time. That would take some time. More calculations. There, there was a lot of people that I really thought would be cool and then they weren't. Mm-hmm. I had really, I mean, probably Sean, Sean Michaels. Really? Yeah. You, you thought big of him then he wasn't. Yeah, Sean, yeah. Sean was one of my idols. Yeah. And then he really let me down as a person. I really yeah. think he was like like any person that really wanted to get into wrestling, you know, between a certain time frame. I mean, everybody's always taught like you want to sell like two people, you know, either Shawn Michaels or now like Jeff Hardy is being, you know, go out there and look at broomstick with beating your ass, you know, makes it look good. Yeah. Sean, Sean really, Sean let me down in so many ways. I think his whole religious gimmick is a fucking work. Yeah, I do. Uh, I, think I, he's the big, I think he's the biggest hypocrite in the business. Yeah. And so many people so. shit on Triple H. I'm telling you, Triple H, that motherfucker always treated me as an equal. Mm-hmm. He was always up front with me. He was always honest with me. I worked with him. And I teamed with Sean. Yeah. I teamed with Sean a couple of times. Sean's pretty good ring general, that is. Dude, I mean, not not in his ring work. I'm not discounting that. His oh, ring yeah, work, that motherfucker is spectacular. Yeah. His matches with The Undertaker and WrestleMania, that's some of the greatest matches that will ever go down. Ever, 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 fucking ever. Right. But him as a person, that whole religious shit, I think it's a fucking work. Yeah. I think he's a, I think he's a hypocrite. I think he's the biggest hypocrite in this fucking business. It's a farce. I don't think it's a farce. I think, I think he believes part of it, but at the same time, you got to live that life. Yeah. If you're gonna he's halfway pre- live it. If you're gonna preach it, you got to fucking live it. Yeah. And he's all the time tweeting about hunting. I'm like, dude, you're fucking rich. Why are you murdering fucking animals? Yeah. Dude, you're fucking rich. You got fucking millions of dollars. You out there murdering animals because it makes you fucking happy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus would do that. I read the Bible and I saw Jesus with a fucking rifle on his shoulder. Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. He's he's one of the biggest hypocrites I've ever seen. Yeah. And this motherfucker, he had me so angry at the show one night. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, I, it was all I could do. It was the most self-resolve and containment I have ever exhibited in my entire fucking career not to beat him the fuck up. And I was so mad, dude, I broke out in a sweat. And I don't sweat. I, don't <laughs> I perspire. Yeah. I don't get hot. I don't get beat. I don't get fucking beats of sweat. He had me so hot, I was like, if I get fired for beating this motherfucker up, I'll be okay. Yeah. And I was this fucking close. I was just going to go fucking beat him fucking bloody and just fucking roll. I'll just go home I don't give a fuck about anything. He said fuck 10,000. I was just like, just sense. fuck it. I'll just go, I'll just beat this motherfucker's ass. I'll go home and I don't even care. Oh, but yeah. at that time, I was having the biggest push of my career. And that's the only thing that stopped me. That's yeah. the only thing that stopped me was having the, I was having the biggest push. What did he do? Me. What did he piss you off about? I'm I'm afraid, I don't want to say it. I was afraid he's going to get, I mean, he's, he's, he's going to get a little thumped in the vein, man. I'm going to get into that in my DVD, my shoot all DVD. Right, all right, all right, Because I want people to know the real shit. Like, this yeah. motherfucker is a liar, man. Yeah. Like you people, like all the Christians that watch him pray and all that shit. Fuck no, he is a fucking liar. Yeah. He is a total fucking liar. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. I, you know, and I try, I try so fucking hard to be his friend, and I don't do that. Yeah, I think, I think, like people have connections. Human beings have an energy within our soul. Yeah, and I don't know if it's a soul, but all human beings have an energy with them, and sometimes it connects. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it don't. Sometimes you meet people, and you, you tell me if you disagree or no. Sometimes you meet people and you like them right away. Mm-hmm. And sometimes yeah. you meet people and you fucking don't like them right away. Right. That's a fucking energy. Mm-hmm. I tried so hard to be this motherfucker's friend. I wanted to be his friend because I idolized his work. Yeah. I idolized, you know, Flair, Savage, Ricky Morton, Rick Steamboat, and Shawn Michaels were my five. Yeah. That was my five I just fucking idolized. And I wanted to be his friend so fucking bad. But I would meet him and I would like, my bullshit alarm would go off. I'm like, this motherfucker's a liar. He is a total fucking liar. Yeah. I've seen him. He cussed out. Like he was throwing F-bombs at Chris Jericho in a fucking a catering one time. And I'm like, yeah, what would Jesus do? Yeah. Yeah. He would cuss this motherfucker out. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. that's what he would do. Yeah, yeah, good job, Mr. Religious. Yeah. And then he's over there fucking tweeting how he's going hunting all the time. I'm like, dude, you're a fucking millionaire. Yeah. You out there shooting animals for your enjoyment? For I, your pleasure? I never got that myself, but... 
I'm not no, hunting. I'm not saying that hunters are fucking evil people. If you got to hunt, if you got to hunt for food because you're starving, then fine. You know, we're top of the food chain as far as animals go. Yeah. Not viruses, but it's probably. But like this, like dude, you got millions of dollars, and you're gonna go shoot a fucking animal for your own personal enjoyment. Take your wife and your kids. Yeah. Don't tell me what Jesus would do. I never saw Jesus with a fucking gun on his back. Mm-hmm. I've read the Bible. I read the Old Testament and the New Testament. Mm-hmm. There was never one scripture at all that had Jesus with a fucking gun on his shoulder. Never. Fisherman. No. no. I've read it. I've read the whole Bible. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. I could fish. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. I never shot a fucking fish. Yeah. I don't believe him. I think he's a fucking total liar. He's the, one of the biggest drug users ever in the history of the business. And he's going to condemn other people. He's he's a cockeyed, cross-eyed piece of shit. <laughs> to open up a can of worms, doesn't he? Yeah, you did. All right, moving on. I've actually, I know, I've actually, I've been kind of reserved. I wanted to hold on to that because like, so many people, I said a couple weeks ago, I thought it was a hypocrite when Matt was here, and I was like, and so many people asked me why, this is why, fucking, I don't care. Yeah. This is why, I think he's a piece of fucking shit. In the ring, he's one of the greatest talents there's ever been. As a human being, he's a total piece of shit. He's done more drugs than probably 20 people that you all know. Together. All together. This motherfucker snorted more coke, done more steroids, done more shit than anybody you've ever fucking known. And he's gonna good he's gonna come out on your show and drop to his knees and pray. Yeah, Jesus was shooting up. Yeah. Mm. Good job, Sean. Mm. Not good. And I just saw him, like I said, I just saw him like a year ago, a year and a half ago, about to get in a fight with Chris Jericho in catering. Over what? Over the match? Dropping f bombs like a motherfucker, cussing. Yeah. And I, I like his family's great. I love his kids. His wife is just sweet as pie. But I'm, I'm sitting there watching him going, "You gotta be kidding me." Mm. And I went up to him because Chris had said some shit that was kind of out of line. You know, I got fired because of me and Chris. Mm-hmm. He got nothing. Yeah. It wasn't me. Yeah. I didn't start that shit. I didn't do anything. All I did was react to motherfuckers touching me when they shouldn't be touching me. Yeah. And I punched a motherfucker in the face. I would do that today. I would not change a thing. Yeah. I got you it. touch me in my fucking face, I'm going to punch your fucking face off. Yeah. Those girls weren't in the cab because of me. Chris. I mean, I'm saying that because of Chris. I'm saying they weren't in the cab because of me. Right. I got you. I didn't do a fucking thing. Yeah. All I did was defend myself. Don't fucking touch my fucking. Don't touch me. Yeah, I'm a human being. Don't treat me like a fucking dog. See, I don't, don't touch like that. I don't like people touching me. Yeah, I can't. Don't fucking that. touch me. Yeah, they touch and me. And then I mean, space. Chris is one of my fucking all time best friends. Chris didn't do nothing wrong. Right. We were just in a silly situation. Mm-hmm. You know, Matt's a single guy. Matt's a guy fucking. Matt, I mean, Matt's pimp. Yeah. Oh yeah. Matt is a Matt. I, I t- you know I'm gonna drink a shot to Matt Hardy. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Matt is a modern day fucking pimp. It we was. Dude, we're yeah. also trying to figure it out because, you know... Like, them bitches we, weren't in the cab because of me and Chris. Matt is a modern-day fucking pimp. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Casting over. He might not have got my quality of ass, but quantity. God damn! You know what? We have the 395 F-bombs. I don't give a fuck. Let's do 18 million F-bombs. I'm like, 